Hey guys, it's May May, and welcome to another Scripture Heart Journey Week. And I have to tell you, this week's Scripture we have done before. I know we have, and sometimes we just have to revisit things. I just believe we do. So I want you to uh, give me a break on this one and just go with me, okay? So this Scripture comes from Galatians, and it's 5, 22 and 23. And I bet some of you know it by heart. But here's the thing. <laughs> Let me read it to you real quick. 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Now that's from my ESV version, and I know it is a little different in the King James. So depending on how you want to learn it, you choose to do that. But my pastor in the past month probably, has quoted this verse so many times in so many situations, which is so interesting because a lot of times I only think of this verse when I think about love, but that's not really the case. This verse has to do with how we relate to each other, how we handle situations, how we um, make decisions, how we, uh, what's another, I mean, how we love each other, how we uh, decide who and who we should not be around. It's like so many places where this verse works. And I think we don't lean on it enough because if we know that we should act in love, you know, um, you know, we're supposed to love one another as ourselves, love our neighbor as ourselves. And if we if we don't know what love is, it's hard for us to do that. And like I said, I know we've done this scripture before, but I want you to really focus on it and really get this one into your heart because I think every day it matters. Let's look at this. Let's say that something happens at your home and you have to call out a maintenance repair technician and that technician comes out and it doesn't get fixed and there's struggle and turmoil and struggle about getting this thing fixed. You still need to handle the situation and handle the technician that's working with you and the people you're working with in love. So being reminded of what love is, and by the way, in that one, it's patience. That's the one that you would probably need, right? Being reminded that the fruit of the Spirit, okay, to show that you are part of the Spirit, that the Spirit is working in you, this is how you do it. You show love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. It doesn't mean that you're a doormat and people just run over you and take advantage of you. But there's a difference in handling things in love and just handling things ugly and in anger because you can. You know, just because we have the ability to do something doesn't make it right. So just because I can say ugly things to you and talk a certain way to you doesn't mean I should. I should talk to you in love, exemplifying joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, okay? So that's our scripture this week. Again, I know we've learned it, but I think it's important sometimes that we revisit something, especially if we see it in a new light. Like, for example, I've always thought of this uh, scripture as what love is. Like, if you say, what is love? Well, this is what love is. But I rarely think of it in like, this is really a roadmap for how my day should go, or this is really how I should wash everything through. Like, am I handling this in a spirit of love, which would mean, am I handling it with all of these um, attributes or characteristics or however, how you want to look at it? So I'm going to write this on my card really quick. So that's your scripture, Galatians 5, 22 through 23. And um, I'm excited to put this one into my brain again. Sometimes we just have to be reminded of scripture. And this is a great one for that. All right, now on to the cards. So I'm going to go through and stamp the sentiment in the corner first on all of them. And that way I'll have that part completed. Now that I think about it. I could have totally done this in my MISTI and just done a one-stamp process, but it's no big deal. I'm just going to do them all just like this. I like to stamp anyway, so it's kind of fun. I do want to say that when I picked out the papers, I made sure I picked out some that the black ink would really show up well on. So I just picked, you know, lighter colors like yellows and mint greens and pinks and kind of grays. That way I knew the black would show up on all of them so I could just run through and stamp. So I went ahead and put all of the rest of the stamps onto one block. The whole angel, the halo, the wings, everything. 
because that way it's just a one-step process instead of having to do it multiple times. Look how cute that angel is. Mm, so cute. So that is going to be what these guys look like. And then we're going to put them on our card bases. assemble these is kind of simple it is simple when you're doing mass producing cards you don't want it to be too difficult because you will have a lot you know like I'm making 12 at a time so you want it to look really really cute but be fairly simple so you can mass produce a whole bunch so this is how the card will look when it's finished Isn't that cute it's simple it's cute but I'm also going to add some glitter because I think that angel needs some glitter so what I'm going to do first is add all of these little pieces that we stamped to my card base off to one side. They don't have to be exactly the same. You don't need to measure. Remember, everybody's not getting these cards. One person is getting this card. So they're not gonna have them to compare. Oh, yours is a little more off to the left or off to the right. So that is one card. And I'm going to go all the way through this pile and glue them down just like that. never leave well enough alone. I thought this needed stitch line. So what I decided to do was do a little line dot line dot down the side. So I'm going to go through each one and I'm going to do line dot. And my line is a, a good quarter of an inch, a thick quarter of an inch. So I'm doing my line and the little dot right beside. It just needed a little something going down either side of the little strip in the middle. You could do another piece and layer it and kind of have it, you know, all layered. But I didn't do that to start with. And then I was like, hmm, in hindsight, maybe. But I really like to be able to do these little stitch lines. And I thought this would be super cute. I know it's hard for you to see every card, but this is all 12 of the cards laid out on my work surface, and I want to glitter them. So what I have done is laid them out in this way so that I gotta get my glitter from over here so that I can just run through and glitter them and then leave them here to dry. So I'll start with this guy so you guys can see it. I'm gonna put a little bit of the snowfall glitter in the halo, just to, and I'm just kind of scrubbing it on the page. I don't want it to be a big glob. I just want to kind of scrub it in there. And I'm going to scrub it in the wings as well. When I say scrub it, I like squirt some out and then use the tip to kind of flatten it around. That'll help it dry faster. And it also won't be kind of a big globby bit. It'll just be kind of scrubbed down and there'll be glitter in the wings. I think that'll be cute. So I'm going to move this guy, but I just wanted to show you what I was doing. So you can see there, it's hard to see when it's wet, but in the halo and in the wings, I'm going to move you out of the way so I don't put my arm in you. And then I'm just gonna run through and do all of these. Mm -hmm. 
So that is all the cards done for this week. I'm gonna leave them here and let the glitter dry, but that's how we do it. Um, these cards will be going out to folks who have requested cards from me at our email address, which is maymayheartcards at gmail.com. So if you'd like to receive a card for me, send a request for one there and our sweet administrator, Sue, will gather up the names and each week she does a random drawing for 10 name, uh, for 12 names and we send out 12 cards each week. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a blessed Sunday and until next week, see you soon. Bye-bye.